this is also coming that unfortunately had a bit of trauma. The owner of the horse was breaking it and with a tire on dragging the tire like the books tell you to do. The problem is with all training and is it's all right doing it as the books do. When it goes wrong, what do you do then? You can ruin a perfectly good horse very easily. The owner of this horse, um, fair play to him, he said he's made a mistake, he's got it wrong, and you only learn by mistakes. Any of us only learn by mistakes. The problem is when you involve an animal in that, they can so easily suffer. So this horse was terrified of a tyre, anything behind him, because he ran off with a tyre, jumped out of a menage, as I understand it, um, jumped over a piece of machinery. That's what I understand, I think that's right. But uh, basically, he'd run away with a tyre on him, so obviously traumatised and terrified. So what we've done now, this, I don't recommend anybody does this, with a horse. This is just to prove to the person that owns the horse that we've conquered that fear. So if you look at his head for a start, he's just wearing a head collar. He's wearing a loose fitted head collar. He's not wearing a head collar like some of these so-called um, people use, you know, horse whisperers or whatever they are. He's got just an ordinary loose fitting head collar. Collar's a bit too big for him, if anything. And he's got that just on his nose. Also, what we've done is we've put these overreach brutes on and bandaged him. The bandaging itself is half wool, half elastic. So we've afforded him some protection, yeah? Now, I'm quite happy. I would be perfectly happy to drive this also with nothing on his legs. I'm not taking this precaution. Um, I would be quite happy to have nothing on the horse's legs at all. We've trained him to a standard that I know he wouldn't get into a panic or be upset by it. I've got no means of steering him. If you look at the, this on his head, you know, it's very, very loose. There's no pressure going to be applied to his nose. So he's not being forced to do it. Obviously, I've got to guide him to what I want him to do. So that side of it... You know, I must guide him, I must have some sort of steering to get him to go where I want him to go. No horse is going to want to do what we're asking him to do as such, because it doesn't make any sense to the horse. So, we're just doing this so that the owner has confidence in the horse that he's not going to let him down when he's put under pressure. Come back. You see there? Ah, that's a lovely baby. And that is a prime... <sighs> that he's not, he's not frightened, he's not upset, he's not anything at all, other than standing there. Come over baby, good boy, walk on. Come back, come back, come back darling, come back. Come round, walk on, walk on. Walk on. Good boy. So you can see him looking there. And if you look at his back leg, which is exactly what we're looking for, the horse is completely at rest. He's holding the tyre up with his foot by standing on it. And he's completely at rest. So walk on. That's it. Standing right over it. Come back, darling. Come back a step. There. Feet in it. Good boy. One of his eyes, some people might say he's a bit starey. The horse a bit, you know, what's it? Well, he's standing there with you know a leg at rest one foot in there but one of his eyes this one as I turn his head around you see shows a bit of white around his eye and this eye doesn't you know it's just the way he is so it's not a case that he's oh my baby boy and come round there darling baby you good baby come round walk on walk on walk on so 
so obviously come over we've got rid of the fear ah, that's my baby okay now what Melanie's gonna do <coughs> walk up just leave the camera running on there Melanie please Just move your, cut your, your chair out of the way. Put it on that thing over there. There's another chair over there, look. So Melanie's just keep the camera on all the time. So you can see there's no, you know, we're not doing anything, any cheating or anything like that. Stand still, the good baby. Okay, if you come over and just look him on. Oh, babe. So what Melanie's doing now is taking down the traces. He's going to pull that back. You see it rubbing against his leg. Remember, he's got no blinkers to protect him. Yeah. He's got no uh, anything at all. One thing with the horse, I would say, that we're still a little bit concerned about, it's nothing major, but still something we're a little concerned about, is his mouth. Not that he's got anything wrong with his mouth, but I think when he rung, he must have caught, you know, when he ran, away with a tire, he must have caught himself up and give himself a little bump in the mouth, you know? So, in the back of his mind, he, when you touch him with the with the bit, I'll put a bit in the bridle on him in a minute and show you, but basically I'm just showing you do it off head collar and he's controllable. Right, walk on, walk up, walk on, go on, walk on, come around. Walk on. Come on. Walk. Okay. Uh, you say to me, oh yes, but you're an enclosed yard. You know, that's not really, he can't go anywhere if he wants to. You hear me very well because you've got all this gravel here. Here he is on an head collar. Pulling a tie up. Walk on. Come round darling. Walk on. Oh, he's, he's going he's going home now just watch the tire he's going home now come back come back darling back into his stable so he thinks he's finished for the day so we're making walk backwards just off head collar no bit in his mouth come back darling come back baby come back come back baby come back and both the traces are on his Offside, both coming out the side of his leg. I'll have another motor car coming. Whoa, stand still, baby, when you're told. Good boy. Then we got a motor car coming. Walk on. And again, we're pulling it now with two traces. Walk on. Got the metal rubbing on the concrete, making a noise. Come over, baby. Now come back, my darling. Come back. You good baby. Come back. There's your baby boy. Come back, darling. There's good boy. Come back, my sweetheart. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back, my darling. Come back. Come back. Come back, my sugar plum. Come back. Come back, my baby boy. Walk on. Whoa. So please don't think I'm on here to make, you know, look how clever I am. I just feel so sorry for when it goes wrong for these horses. And what you have to ask yourself, 
people say, should you, we're not looking for work. We've got more work than we can cope with. So we are not looking for work. My sole interest is in horses being looked after. Discipline, nothing wrong with discipline. Discipline's a dirty word in this day and age. I'm always saying the same thing, it's a dirty word. Discipline is nothing to do with smacking horses. Discipline is you will do what you're told when I tell you to do it. They say this natural horsemanship is a partnership between the two horses. Well, I call this a partnership. He trusts me 100%. And I trust him not to kick me straight in the face where he's standing now with flies tormenting him. Yeah? And he's got all this round his legs. If he was to lunge forward now and take fright or come back or do anything, I'm right behind him. Calm as you could expect horse to be under these circumstances. Next thing you're going to ask me, I suppose you've drove him 20 mile earlier on. Well, you'll have to take my word for it. He's not been out in the yard today, but there he is, standing there as quiet as a lamb. I want Melanie to come in front of him now, Melanie, and touch his nose and make a fuss, and then walk away from him, but tell him to stand still. Okay? Stand still. She's walking away from him now, any horse normally, when you rub them, I'm not holding them on these reins, you can see them just hanging loose. Um, when you rub their nose and talk to them like that, and also Mel's the one that does the feeding, you'd expect the horse to follow her. People say from all over the world, oh, aren't you wonderful, you're a wonderful horseman. I don't think that's the case. What, it, what the case is, is to understand them, understand the problem, try and see the world through their eyes. Yeah, and all they're really looking for, they'd lay your, their life down for you. They'd work until they dropped on their knees and couldn't do another, another step. And all they asked is to be loved and cared for, and you take charge of the all. Should we owe it to them? And that, to my way of thinking, is a true partnership with us that will stand there like that when this horse has been here now, how long has he been here, Mill? Four weeks. Been here four weeks, and he come here because he'd run away with a tyre behind him, and like that. As the weeks go on, you'll see him up on YouTube. <sighs> so the dear little fella's going into HDT, um, in a four in hand, for one of the top drivers in the country, and uh, there he is there, standing there when I tell him to, stand still. Now the man's not been born yet who can stop horse in a bit. Please believe me, the man has not been born that can hold horse in a bit if he wants to run away. So what bloody chance you got in an head collar? And what chance you got in an head collar? We ain't got it down here pushing on his hooter. It's up there, yeah? So, there's a good boy. He'll stand there till he's told different. So I'm just asking him now to stand still. Stand there, baby. You're a good boy. And I'm coming off him. Stand still. You do. That'll do. Stand still. See me change the tone of my voice. Give him the instruction to stand still. I haven't moved. I've just lifted my finger to him. I haven't hit him. I haven't. You do. Stand still. Bring him back round here. Whoa. Come over. Stand still. You stand still. There's a good baby, a good boy. There's my boy. There's a good baby boy. He mustn't be afraid of me, yeah? Whatever I want to do, rub his head, his ear rolls. You know, this horse didn't like his ears touch, as it happened. He's a bit head shy, you know? But I spent a lot of time in the stable in the evening with him, getting his confidence. He 